In this lesson, uh, we're going to take a look at how to classify equations. Um, throughout this chapter, really, we've been focusing on a particular type of equation without really um, stating it outright. And that is we've limited ourselves to looking at what we call linear equations. Okay, And so what is a linear equation? Well, a linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are just numbers. Okay, so um, what uh, I think is important to realize here is that yes, something like this fits the definition of a linear equation, right? Because you can really match it up: a is three, b is four, c is two. Okay, so this is definitely a linear equation. Um, but so is something like this, um, you know, y equals negative 2x minus 5, right? You look at that and say, wait, that doesn't look like this. In, in this equation, x and y are on the same side. But notice what it says. A linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in this form. So the sense I can add 2x to both sides of this, and end up with 2x plus y equals negative 5, well, then it's really clear. This matches exactly with the definition, so this is also a linear equation. Now, probably the best way to define a linear equation practically is just to simply say that if you have two variables, x and y, and those variables are only raised to the first power, they're not squared or anything like that, and those variables don't appear in the bottom of a fraction, then it's linear, okay? So some um, examples of equations that are not linear, just to kind of give us some intuition for um, what would not be linear equations. So equations that are not linear. Um, would be something like this, um, x squared plus y equals 7. The fact that the x is being squared may, means that it's not linear. Um, if I had 3 over x minus y equals 2, that's not linear because the x is in the bottom of our fraction. Okay, So just be, uh, just be aware of the fact that we are restricting our study to linear equations and everything that we do in this section is based off of linear equations and so conclusions that we come to about the equations we're looking at apply to these linear equations.